What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own part of the wall. Let's play as the as the Republic of Venice. And in this episode, uh, we may be fighting a river battle. These forces have drifted too close to us and we can intercept them. And as a result, we're going to try and kill them over the banks of the river. But it very much depends on what the uh, depends on what the game decides. We are on the bridge. Well, we're kind of on the bridge. Maybe not. Let's find out. Um, but the the Polish army that we're up against is pretty manageable, so we are going to focus on um, just trying to slaughter them and hopefully, well the problem is the troops in the east, if we win, will probably fall back to the east somewhere and it could be quite awkward for us in future. Um, just a second. Sorry about that. It could get a bit awkward for us, but again, I think we just need... Yes, river battle. Um, we just need more... Um, troops, fundamentally. So I'm going to drop one gun team back. One gun team here. My howitzer... Uh, going to go here. And this other gun team is going to do counter-battery work. So let's send... I mean, they normally never go for the bridge. But let's send a few units over here to cover the bridge. Let's send... A good block of units to cover the fords. In the event that we do get surprised, I've got a decent block of troops at the back ready to respond with pikemen in support. Yes, we are getting outflanked. So we should be... Let's try get these... Fellas in. No, not like that. Oh dang, they're actually a lot closer. They're going to be a lot closer than we thought. If you want in against my foot guards, blast off a couple of volleys. Otherwise, form a square. Okay, I don't think we're going to need. We're not going to need all these troops. I'm going to put my grenadiers over here, though. Bring this unit of line up as well. Charging in. Get ready with my light horse, because they are going to hit my conscripts. They're shattered. I mean, all this other stuff's just kind of firing at will. It looks like we've knocked out an enemy gun team. Make sure my counter battery team is engaging the you know, demi cannons. Now uh, they intercepted my cavalry that was on the way up. Okay, let's aggressively advance towards this block. Switch my howitzer over to Karkashot and get them to start engaging some of these Polish ne'er-do-wells. The little lancers that could. Fine. Excellent good hits on the regiment of foot there. Back I'm 
comes our first Polish unit. It's trying to scramble over the board. And you guys are just going to hold here just for the time being. Okay, let's how it's focusing on the Marines. My cover will tie them up, whether or not they'll win or not. Oh, excellent hit. Excellent, so there goes that unit of infantry. Withdraw. So if I withdraw, I might be able to pull their cavalry closer to my pikes. Okay, let's get my grand ears up over here. Yeah, I'd fall back because their regiment of foot came back previously. Make sure my howards are still engaging the best enemy possible, best enemy unit possible. Twelfth regiment charging the flank. getting slaughtered as they cross the river. We've got a good hit on one of their artillery pieces. Well, they are. They were unlimbering though, so the gun is still in action. Cavalry pursue the line infantry. Excellent. Get my general over here. He might actually be able to kill that infantry before it escapes. That'll be quite a nice get for us. Well, it looks like for the most part they are going to break and run before that happens. Come on, 12 guys. You can kill 12 guys. I mean, it doesn't help that you're not turning around. One, four, three. Keep right clicking. Got it. Artillery fire, let's retarget. One second. Don't know why my throat feels a bit weird this morning. Right. Kill these irregulars and demi cannons, more general. These men begin to walk back towards the crossing. Start blasting them with canister shot. No, 
Nah, not gonna get these guys. In which case, then let's get you over here. Actually, we won't even need the cavalry. We've mobbed them so well. They're not actually able to escape. Yeah, there we go. Help the general take out those that skirmisher warband. You start blasting stuff into this dragoon warband. Here come their reinforcements. The artillery's been dealt with. This 12 pounder just slam shots into their marines. Excellent. Yeah, the guns have been dealt with. They're pushing in. It's just a few units of well, marines, marines, marines. Some really good units. So you are just out of range. So let's see if I can... Not very efficient at all to do this, but... It's fine. We've got more reef. We've got more troops coming up behind us. It just throws them off balance. Open fire! The dragoons have got mowed down. Yeah, they're gone. The mercenaries are out of here. I may as well just make my howitzers focus on a unit of marines. Yep, yeah, now it's just a good old fashioned slaughter fest. Speed up so that until these guys start crossing the river. So, who's this? The 22nd and the 4th Regiment of Militia. Canister okay, shots getting some guys. Kills that are outside of the arc. They've had enough. Good hit on the Marines, it nearly wiped them out. Twenty second, uh yeah, they're engaging, but not well. More canister shot coming in. Advancing out the ready. It's them falling back. The militia coming back though. Ooh, counter battery artillery. I mean, they're, they're not actually shooting at us, but shoot at them nonetheless. Blown into the second foot guards. You're electing to stand and fire. The irregulars are probably going to do the same thing. But they've got a good officer leading them. Marine unit, really. 
I mean, you've done a lot of damage to the third foot guards. That's wiped them out nearly. Okay, those gunners have broken. The irregulars have come back. They're advancing. Get into range. Volley fire present. Excellent. So they're falling back. Now the first foot guards are advancing. It'd be good to do some do some decent damage to them. Because those units are expensive. Yeah, they're wavering. Look at them all run. The dogs. So let's get ready to see the second foot guards. I mean, they, didn't, they originally didn't engage. This is their first actual opportunity to clear their weapons. They've been ready to rock and roll. But they've just not been doing it. <laughs> and the first are back. That one didn't go off. So many dead marines. It's going to take me a bit of time to get them back up together. Sixth regiment of foot of here. Across the river. I'm only doing it to try and knock out some of these. So you guys halt. We might not get them. All of you focus on. She didn't all need to. Okay, let's get. My well, is just charge forward and go after the other unit of marines. You're going to need to be dealt with two. Yeah, get my hussars up to deal with the second foot guards. My general will carry these marines. And if we can take them out, they'll go after that unit of the regiment of foot. Excellent. Two units of marines annihilated. Let's all focus on the regiment of foot just to kill them a bit quicker, and they'll uh, then we'll go deal with the the gunners. Excellent. You may not. They may not kill them because they might just kind of stand around and be a bit stupid. In which case, they'll have to bring the infantry across to shoot them. Oh no, they are doing it. Awesome. So that wasn't a close victory, that was a good victory. Lord of the Polish. We lost 3,100 men and we lost 657. I mean, some of my units. Oh, these elite conscripts are still elite conscripts even though they've killed 306 men. They didn't get any more. Okay, that's kind of. That's perfect, actually. Although I've got you guys scampering around. We, need, we do need to continue building our forces to surround and destroy the uh, the pustule that is at Zagreb. But pierce it, we sh well, but uh, engulf it, we shall. So we don't want to make 
We don't want to make peace with Poland anyway, because the uh, we have it will just cause problems for Austria. So we have a rake here. You're going to go up to Jerusalem and keep an eye on them. Actually, it's probably not worth sending you inside. Just sit outside. So you've built Iron Master's Works. I've got a trading port. Okay, 7,800. Where's our recruitment? There it is. So you are advancing, but not too close. You want them to combine their forces. You're going to demand the surrender of the garrison. We're going to repair the governor's building, plus replenish our frontline troops that need it. So your recruitment, you've got this cavalry unit that's going to make its way over. You're replenishing. But we probably want... Some conscripts plus... I don't really need infantry. More cavalry plus. Hmm. Could probably do with another a gun. Twelve pounder. And two thousand eight hundred. Let's invest in governor's residence just to provide a bit of a boost to some of the old tax income. And then we've got eight hundred and forty-two. So what I'm want to do, well, Scopchi, when it starts to develop, I want to develop that into a, a school. Hmm. So I don't. I think we need. We really need to. Um, I mean, yeah. You originally were going to go. We're going to go assassinate, but I don't think that's a super good idea now. I want to be able to move this army out of Ankara. And I'm not going to be able to do that unless either I build a big garrison or dismantle the school. So for now they're going to keep researching, but I don't think they are going to be there forever. So I might actually preemptively build a, a Jesuit college. Just to further boost happiness of Catholic people. To make it even more possible for me to build a school there. Okay, but I think that's everything. Although, let's have a look at you, Heracleon. You've got a spare ship to occupy a port, but everything else seems okay for now. You're, you may take a more... a better posture on the coast. Good, 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 right. We do want wealth of nations. We need to upgrade the modern university. Well, we need lots of stuff. Let's hit N10. Good. The British Navy is moving their troops back. They are not going to use it as an opportunity to advance against us and try and destroy us. The, the, the Portuguese are in mainland Spain. Yeah, that, that was kind of expected. Uh, you're going to go after my cavalry. So I think we need to expand our troops that are running around behind the lines at Zagreb. Or I could eventually take the army out of Venice and push towards Zagreb and recruit fresh garrison troops in Venice. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. So the garrison of Venice. Give them a pike commander. Siamo pronti.
So you men can head south to head them head this army off in case they want to go east. This cavalry is going to get picked up by this Avanti. army and go after Zagreb. I mean, just a minute. Before we do that, let's start recruiting some extra cavalry, extra infantry, just to offset that. Let's retake Zagreb back from Polish forces. Because then these armies are going to be needed to shore up the front against Poland and maybe, maybe even expand towards, um, in towards our Prussian territory. Because we need to make some decent headway there, otherwise we're going to be in a bit of a dodgy position. So you're not going to be defensive at all. They have the artillery advantage. We may deploy off to the right so we can maneuver outside of the city. I think that's the right that's the right call. My pikemen are gonna be the uh, the artillery bait. Get over here as quickly as you possibly can. Just turn their flank completely. There we go. Mortars are now firing. Yep. Yeah, we're going for the 36th Regiment of Foot. Don't let them sit still. I mean, incredibly inefficient. Do that. up as a force of reserves, push my Osars up on the right. General, get up onto the higher ground. Soon we're going to start sweeping these mortars with musket fire. Then we can push down here into this core of their position. Yeah, there goes the hits against the pikes. Don't stand still, keep moving. They're just out of range for you guys. Send you guys down this way. It might actually be better to do this. Broken one artillery team. Skirmishes have, exp have been exposed. There we go. Now they're in trouble. Line of foot's going to be going to take some damage there, but push up to the line of the forest and begin clearing it. 
pikes push all the way down. Push this position forward. some spare cannons they're committing their infantry and they're going to get outflanked the 38th regiment's going to be free to open up you're going to hold until the plagues get around to the high ground. Advancing in a big blob. I want them to advance into a position where they can jump onto the the lancers. goes within range able to shoot with them no it's still not very good you need to push up to the top of the ridge down the enemy general out of his horse. And you get out of horse and you guys push up. Get out of um, square, sorry, in advance. Like, I mean, attacking them is a bit superfluous. Push my cavalry through, advance my militia up. Just shatter them. We're not going to try and kill them because they'll all be killed anyway when they leave. Daft, someone pikes in there. But, ah, what the hell? Keep it up. There we go. Get my pikes out of there. They're actually rocking towards my line. They want to be our prisoners. What are you doing? But still. Is the city secured, which is great for us. Excellent. Let's get the city rebuilt and the army replenished. Excellent. So now you can will be able to deal with them in your own time. You'll be able to deploy east and start to take out some of these guys that are scooting around the edges. get our uh, some of our other units replenished uh, in Hungary other than that I think everyone's ready to rock and roll built a theatre in Antolia a commercial port in Ragusa and metal roads in Venice excellent no, um, no technologies yet kicking in next turn yeah, there go some of our reinforcements Oh, they, uh, Britain's going to clear out uh, Cartagena again, which is great. Hopefully at some point that fleet just gets wiped out and all the troops are gone. More Prussian technology theft. Obviously now's the time they decide to move back.
we need to keep the front line strong and we need to keep the back line. Uh, no, I am not going to do that. I don't like the fact that you're asking me. No, because it means you might be coming to get me. Okay, let's see what that uh, enemy enemy unit looks like over here. Quite a bit weak, but we couldn't get them with our army. No way. Okay, so I think we need to we definitely just need to keep on pushing them back. You're going to do some raiding, and we can't really. Don't I don't really want to stop you. I don't want to build a university. Let's get another turn's worth of infantry being recruited there. Let's push up and attack Barthos Budach. Let's go get him. And I do want to build some defences up in the northeast just to just to try and really stop uh, Poland from being able to funnel troops around into our empire quite so easily because Hungary isn't quite the best spot, isn't in the best spot, and neither is the uh, the fortification that's already been built. That's not in a great spot. It does not actually prevent them from sending troops around. Storm the hill, take the fight to them. Artillery is going to be a bit useless. Storm the hill, keep my cavalry loose on one flank. coming in. I mean, this is the garrison from uh, Zagreb that's coming in to help. I mean, if they keep this up, we'll be able to around the hill. We're going to storm right up into their faces. push this southern defensive position. They are engaging at point blank range. They are even kicked out of their defensive position. Surprised by skirmishers. You're being hit by <laughs> you're being hit by spurious musket fire. Shatter them. Make sure they're gone.
Don't take up positions behind the wall. Okay, let's get my regiment of horse back over here. This general can keep killing them, but I want my main cavalry element to focus on killing their infantry. Killing their main infantry body. Skirmish is a fine target, but it, a fine target if that's all you've got, but that's not all you've got, then... They're going to run through our line. Not so many of you guys need to go in, jump on that regiment of force, and stop them. Skirmish is left. Any way that we just tidy them up is good for us. She you know he'd be honest, come over here. You guys will get the regiment of force, that's fine. So General's going after the 18th Regiment, you guys are going after the Polish Eastern European mercenaries. Militia will take casualties in their pursuit of justice. Excellent. Oh, there's the edge of the map then. This big unit is definitely going to escape, sadly. Mean, and unless they run a different direction. This enemy general killed. Ah, oh, too bad they split out really well. These are, I don't know why you've got into this obsession about running in, about sitting in a big, in a massive column like that. Just get out of the way. Two infantrymen left, and then we got them. Goes up out of the way. Okay, yeah, it is all about this infantry over here. So my general folks on the unit that's all tight together. These units folks on the ones that are all spread out. More cavalry is just better to do that. They seem to work out 
pathfinding more easily. Keep on. Come on, there he is, he's getting away. Got him. Five minute infantry here left. Nice. Excellent, a good few units destroyed. I think might have got them all. Yeah, excellent. Perfect. And you guys head east. Ready to deal with that army. But then that will be... I mean, you could feasibly do it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to push you up so you're in a better position. I mean, you're going to raid the university no matter what I do. And that's okay. I don't think I need to build any more artillery. But I think I need to bump up some of my port upgrades. Let's get a Patras done. It's unfortunate you know our National Observatory, because now this is right when we're gonna we're gonna dismantle that. So I'm gonna get this agent. Well, it's 18 turns, actually, so you could get some good stuff done there. Although, clamour for reform is going to get worse. Mm. Next turn for Wealth of Nations, which is super. Oh, Catholic Missionary and Rumelia is really handy. Let's get you over to Sophia. I don't have, I don't have a religious building here, and I don't want to build one. And, yeah, I think that's okay. So you're going to raid the university. It's going to suck, but... So we're slowly building up more troops. Although you could... You could feasibly... Dispatch a detachment. Why are you not... Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Dispatch a detachment back to here. Run them into the city. Because I don't need two huge armies. Ultimately, you can take... can go back to the city. I don't need... A little bit of a boost is great. You move up to them. You'll combine. Make sure this howitz is joining the right guy. We hear lots of religious unrest in Belgrade still, but it should get better, which should slowly get better over time. They really don't like our people in government. I mean, that, that'll get better. 2,200 now, though. That gives us mostly religious building upgrades, maybe some industrial upgrades to the east. Let's upgrade this mine. Yeah, yeah, you're getting a bit better as religious unrest. Well, religious unrest is, is is continuing to get will continue to get worse though, not much worse. But ideally, I need to knock this down to put a church school to offset the presence of this really good imam. That's the big problem. Um, but let's hit end turn. I need to bolster my front in Cairo because the enemy has a large, large um. Ottoman army down there. The, wait, did the Prussians just raid Polish stuff? No, they aren't. They're just gar they're garrisoning it. For their protection, naturally. Okay, let's get... Oh, I suppose I could. It will provide a financial hit of some degree to some degree. But if I got rid of this carpet weaver's cottage and build a church school, I could keep Konya as a university, and we will start to overpower the impact of this priest. 
you men combine. Head over towards them. You keep working away around the long way. You successfully dissuaded that Ottoman, that Prussian army from coming any further south. Let's get sink this into a university upgrade. 2,000. We don't need any extra troops. So we've got Wealth of Nations. You've gone straight on to Wedge Formation. Not bothered about that. Get on with Huddling Furnace or... Mm -hmm. Maybe straight on to machine tools to get that flat recruitment cost reduction across the board. That's handy. Recruitment report, good. Trait gain to happy drinker. Excellent. Uh, get this priest into Sophia. In which case... Yeah, you guys, you're all going to be pretty happy down at Konya. Two more turns till they get socket bayonet, when we definitely want to build a military academy. Push down this tree here, so I can get the army board and get access to quicklime. And this is particularly enticing to get three universities up and running, because we are going to find ourselves... Um, well, we're going to, our technology base is going to explode when that happens. You've already got okay roads. Can't upgrade you. Just upgrade the iron workshops, I suppose. Oh, the Royal Navy's back. The good old Barbary States. I think the Austrians are on the offensive somewhere because they're building troops and then moving them out. <laughs> you pick on the... Oh, you're really weak. I can deal without the artillery for a turn. Yeah, oh, no, don't do it, Mughals. In of itself, not a terrible idea by them. But as soon as the AI starts showing interest in one of your territories, that's usually really bad. We're very friendly. And they're not at war with anybody else. I mean, if they declare, if they try and declare on me, that could get sticky real fast. But they will not be able to take anywhere in one turn. Boost this army to get ready to respond. 4,000. 4,000 cash. New port emerges in Croatia. Let's get this built. Ship one of these galleys up to hold it. You're going to come just a little bit south. Because you want them to run north. And let's engage this army. But yeah, it's, it's, it's entirely possible the uh, Marathas are just going to come and invade Naples. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. We will need to take it back rapidly because Naples is a very valuable region to us. Create an irregular right flank. Ideally, we'd like to try and kill some of these units. Yeah, you are... 
already. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Yeah, my artillery is landing in and amongst them. Lots of irregular units. Lots of units that are just in terrible condition. You can intercept us if you like on the charge. Both these units, they go, you think, you think you're going after me? That's right, you can charge me. I'm going to jump on you with a bunch of irregular troops. Same with you. I'm not afraid of the melee combat. Your infantry force is terrible. That's their general probably scampering around at the back. Potentially not very good because if they if they recover, they may kill my artillery. Kill them! Kill them all! One of my units is in poor shape, but once they spin around and realise these dragoons are pretty in pretty bad in a pretty bad way, it's gonna be fine. They place their stakes like they think that's going to save them. going to exist. It's a unit of guerrilla mercenaries that's going to go down. Yep, they're just a bit surrounded. There's another unit of marines that's not going to be around for very long. My artillery is going to cease fire because it's just shelled one of my own conscript units. Yeah, you broke, that's fine. I will surround the rest. I thought so. Let's put you guys up here to fill up this gap. Well, 
Line infantry, line infantry, line infantry. Marines. These guys have to figure out what they want to do. Nice. Put your folks on them. You guys focus on them. And this poor little unit is running around getting shot to pieces. We don't know where to go. We, we, we don't know where to go. <laughs> Very nice. But that might be that army destroyed. Ah, uh, not quite. Soon. Soon. Then let's bring the artillery up. Repair the farm. I mean, they might not actually come after us. Let's build a sig three. They might not invade us. They may decide not to. But yeah, it'd be two and a half grand of our tax base gone. Uh, yeah, yeah, that wouldn't be ideal. But they might—they might not go for it. But usually, the AI's bad habit is to say, "Hey." This region, can we have it? And you go, no. And they say, oh, wow, okay. It would be a shame if somebody invaded it. Yeah, raid, that's all you can do because you can't actually stand against us. Yep, that sounds about right. In which case, then, I am going to not call my allies because they don't need... Meh, I might call them because it, this could get ex expand into something bigger. None of their allies join them. Both of mine join them. It does mean I need to be quick. So I don't want to lose the territory and then have the Italian states take it over. So, got a new trade slot opened up. I mean, you know you don't like us Ottomans, but we can... Ah, uh, we could trade. We could make some money. Genoa. Because your allies are with Spain. That's not ideal, but you're trading with our, with our partners. Okay. What have you got? Not a very good army, that's for darn sure. So what we can do is take you guys, get them aboard. I think we've got enough movement to do this. Yes, we do. Hello. Let's get inside the fort. Let's get inside the city first. And then this, my actual warship, can go back to Chogia. Chogia. You men come back. And then let's bring this sixth rate over to here. Because, yeah, their army's pretty pants. So we can attack them, and we could, we could maybe even jump on their fifth rate and take it, but maybe. So 
So let's socket bayonet research. Let's not let's keep the uh the research train going and get go straight for the military academy. Uh, Konya's going for wedge formation, which I don't really want it to do. I need to upgrade you as well. And I need to actually build church school over here. Firstly, let's send a block of infantry over to squash those Polish raiders. What I mean is, I ideally need something here to block their passage through the car around the edge of the Carpathian Mountains. Um, but I think it has to be said, our priority is to take our troops here. And attack the enemy before they land, after they've landed, sadly. But nevertheless, we're near enough to Naples. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next adventure of our Venice Let's Play. Cheers, everyone.